This was by far one of my favorite trips that I have done in a very long time. We went down for two days around my birthday down to this state park. This is the river you're currently looking at right now, which is giant. This is probably one of the biggest rivers I have personally been on in a very long time. This is our campsite. My stepdad did join me on this trip. That is why there's two tents. It was absolutely amazing. We did a very simple trip. Spent two days down there. Four hour drive. Amazing. This is us walking actually into our camp. I'm sorry, but my geo stabilizer is in the bottom right hand corner. I need to figure out how to get rid of that, if not update my system. But we were in site 12. You can see we came here to fish. We ended up going down the river and doing about 8 miles in 2 days, which was phenomenal. <clears throat> the next scene right here, you will see us on the river. It got really windy out here. I still managed to keep the fly rod in my hand the entire time. Had a great time. I would highly recommend anybody to come out here. We ended up doing a nice relaxing fire that night. Just to burn up some firewood, sit down, and celebrate my birthday. This is in the back of the park where all the day use area is. We are currently walking down by the river right now to the swim area. I would not swim in this river myself, but if you would like, you're more than welcome to. I am not sure if this ramp is wheelchair accessible, but I think it is. It goes all the way into the water. These are the pavilions that are rentable. This is the screened inside. There's quite a few tables in there. I think eight. You got trash here. Plus a few tables outside. And the barbecue grill right there. I'm going to take you inside for a second. So you can see the inside of this thing. It is not small. There is plenty enough room to have a good party wedding or child's birthday that's about a four foot grill it's quite large some of the biggest i have personally seen yes there are bathrooms in these pavilions these are just some of the trees on one of the trails near the pavilions the trees here are absolutely amazing there's another pavilion right there. The trees are mainly what sold me on going to this facility. This is the open-ended side of the pavilions. In between are the bathrooms, which are right there. Then the screened-in side. This is the official swim area with the floating dock and everything. Not very much to see. This is the boat ramp area. That is an ADA kayak launch, which very few parks actually have. They are very helpful for people that need them. I don't need them yet, but eventually probably. This is the concrete boat ramp. This is just some views of the river that I took from the swim dock so that everybody could see it. Yes, this is absolutely beautiful. These are just some still photos of the wildlife and everything else throughout the park. FWC does park here. There are deer and white squirrels everywhere. This is more of the river. This place is gorgeous. This is one of our dinners we had. The big thing about this park is the relaxation value of it. This was across the street from our campsite. This was all put together by the Boy Scouts. There is a small amphitheater, so they might play movies. I'm not actually sure what this facility actually is. This is us launching our kayaks to go down the river. Right here is the photos of the drivable trail that you can drive. It's about a mile long trail through the middle of the woods. You do not need four-wheel drive to do it. 
some more wonderful photos of the trees and landscape. This park is kind of small. It's only about 30 campsites. So it's extremely relaxing.